Good evening, it's Valerie Holdren with Soap Underground. Um, I sold out of my shave soap today unexpectedly. Um, I had three bars and they are all gone. Um, they don't typically move that quickly. Um, I made them, I thought the guys would really like them, but it turns out I have one guy that really likes them and the other two customers that want them all the time are ladies. Um, so anyway, it's time to restock. And this is my hippie shave soap and I am tweaking it just a little bit. Um, instead of using cocoa butter, I decided to use cocum butter. And um, I'm using more lard in this one. Um, and instead of adding the lanolin after the cook, I figured it into the recipe with this one because I wanted to see what would happen. That's the only way to know is to do it, right? Um, so my oils today are Babeso, which I really love, canola, castor, cocum butter, lanolin, lard, olive, and stearic acid. I do get a little antsy um, and anxious when I deal with steric acid, especially at a higher percentage because it just thickens up so quickly and I always feel like I'm doing something wrong. It, it works out, um, but it gets so thick so quick and it makes me nervous, But so just bear with me. Um, I, I thought what I would do, my oils are right at 169 and um, I thought maybe I would just in this introductory part um, show you what happens when you combine the NaOH lye with the KOH lye um, because it makes a much better shave soap if you do use both. Um, I have 60% KOH and 40% NaOH so I thought I would you know go ahead and get that mixed up here. Let me get you turned down a little bit where you can see. I don't know that anything, I haven't made this but twice, so I'm not sure, I can't remember how it reacted, so I thought I would bring you back and let you do it with me. So, um, I'll put my goggles on so you can see that I am trying to be better um, at wearing my safety gear. I apologize for this shirt. Um, I still don't have one that's not as big and bulky because this is my husband's, but I'm not gonna ruin a good blouse, so. Okay, I'm gonna start with the NaOH, and in my aloe vera juice, I have um, Tussa Silk. You can see it floating around in there. So, I'm going to go ahead and add the NaOH. You can tell it's getting more humid here because the lye is really wanting to stick to the containers. And then the KOH. It seems like before I had some fizzing, but maybe not. We'll see. I just thought you might want to see this part because it's too different. Yep, it is fizzing. I knew something was going to be different. And I used out all aloe vera juice, no water for the last solution. Um, and I held out two ounces. Um, I'm doing a 16 pound batch, a 16 ounce batch, one pound. And I held out two ounces of my lye liquid um, to add at the end. And that will be in the form of coconut oil and more aloe vera, coconut milk and more aloe vera juice. I'm sorry, I get so tongue twisted in front of the camera. But anyway, it has settled down and it, 
the tufts of silk and everything is just dissolved perfectly. And my lie is at 213. And I'll make a measurement of temperature of my oil. And I'll know when I'm ready to start. That's at 184, so I'm going to gather my stick blender, and um, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, and um, my oils are at 185, and my lye liquid is at um, 202. So we're going to go ahead and get started. In my oils, I have a tablespoon of colloidal oatmeal and a tablespoon of kale and clay. So I'm, I'm expecting this, like I said, to get thick really quickly. So just bear with me and my anxiety. I know one time I started doing this and I didn't hardly get the stick blender turned on and it was so thick. And it's happening already, so. getting some major separation here. together. And I'm at 231 temperature wise.
the stick blender for. Use my whisk. It's still wanting to volcano. So. And my crop is off now. It was on low, I mean warm. But at these temperatures, we don't need that. down my sides. This will get no color. It's a lot yellower um, or browner than it was before. Before it was almost white. Maybe it's the lanolin. Not sure. Let that sit there for a couple of minutes and see what happens. Go ahead and take off my safety glasses. I got these at Amazon. I just loved them because they were cute. And it's still cooking here, as you can see. It's, it's probably going to be ready for... Um, me to take it out in a minute. And do a zap test before long. ready yet. And we are at 2.11. So I'm going to let it sit another couple of minutes. And um, if something happens, I will um, bring you back. Okay, it's been about five minutes since I broke. Um, I did my zap test, completely neutral. So now I'm going to add in my additives um, that I had kept warm over on the stove. And I'm going to start with my coconut milk and um, warm aloe vera juice and add it in slowly. I'm going to have to take this out. This gets in the way. Okay. I can take these off because it's there's no lye left. It's just hot. Stir in my reserved liquid. And I say this every video but I can't stress enough I add it slowly um, so that it does not curdle or cook because the batter is so hot some people wait um, until the batter cools down some I find that the warm milk actually helps to bring the batter down some so that we can move along and get it in the molds um, gives us a little more time so that's why I always do this and I just realized I usually add my super fat before I do my milk and I didn't do that I got ahead of myself I'm sorry 
So the next thing I add will be my super fat, which is usually the first additive. I told you I get nervous. I'm so afraid that I'm going to say something wrong or um, and I really hope that if if I say something that's confusing or you know that you think I made a mistake, you know, it's, feel free to private message me and tell me. Um, now I want to ask questions on here, but you know, I have to stop and realize we can't hear each other. Um, I'll catch myself asking something and then I'm like, silly, they can't hear you. Okay, and this is my uh, Argon Shea Butter and um, a little vitamin E. That's been kept warm on the stove as well. That's a caramel color. I don't know what that's all about. I wasn't expecting that. Down to 170, I'm going to add my yogurt, and that's one tablespoon. Um, it's, most people add one tablespoon per pound of oils, and this is a one pound batch, 16 ounces, so I added one tablespoon of yogurt. It says I'm down to 160. So I'm going to add my honey, which is one tablespoon, my apple cider vinegar, which is one tablespoon, and my sodium lactate, which is um, one and a half teaspoons. This has a cleansing number of four and a conditioning of, I think it's 59. So I was pretty pleased with those. Some of these things, I just want to taste them. <laughs> I have to stop myself. Okay. And now my fragrance, well, it's actually essential oils. It's patchouli, bergamot, uh, black pepper, and I'll think of it in a minute. I have to, a uh, cedar wood. Um, I love those. That's why I think, I don't know if I've told you, I may have, I don't remember. I, I call it the hippie soap because people say that the um, patchouli was very popular among the, the group, the hippie group. So that's why I call it my hippie shave soap. I love patchouli. I have some customers who ask for it and some say keep it away from me. 
so. Mm. It's the same way with lavender. You know, I'm not a huge lavender fan, but. And then my mold. Um, been keeping all of this warm in the oven. Just don't know what's up with that, this color. But I'm not liking it, I know that. And I'm not sure how long, it's been, like I said, good while since I've made these. I don't remember how long it'll be before I can unmold them. But I will definitely bring you back for that. I just hope this, this one is as nice as the other one was. Okay, well, there's no really no point in keeping you hanging here. I'm gonna finish filling these molds. And like I said, I will bring you back when I unmold them, if I remember. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Hey, welcome back. It's been about three hours. Um, I just took these um, hippie shave soaps out of the freezer and they're popping out of the mold really nicely um, they are still an odd color and I don't understand why but um, maybe they'll lighten up I really don't know um, I, I, the only thing I can think of is maybe it's the lanolin because last time I put the lanolin in after the cook, but they smell so good. Um, and I have a little sample bar that I'm gonna keep for myself, and I'm gonna do a little demonstration to see how well it lathers. So, um, but I'm very happy with how these turned out. Um, I love these molds. And um, they're a nice size. They'll fit in the little bowls that I have really nicely. There's another design. I know they may not be manly enough, but the only other one that I had that I really liked was a heart. So I just decided to go with these. So anyway, that is the revamped version of hippie shave soap and I will bring you back for a lather test thanks hey I'm back um, before I went to bed I wanted to show you um, the difference in the two colors of these the same soap the only difference really is the lanolin uh, the way I added it this is the original Hippie Shave Soap. See how white it is? There's no coloring, nothing. It's just, that's the color of the batter. And then this evening's Hippie Shave Soap, it's, there's quite a, a difference in the color. I'm just kind of shocked by that. Um, I like this color better, but what do you do? So in my bowl, I have my brush is soaking and I'm um, going to go ahead and dump the water out and I'm um, going to give this a good going around. I don't usually lather it like this. I usually, you know, put some water over top of the soap, but I decided to try it this way. Um, let's see what happens. It's getting a nice lather. Let's 
start with that and see what happens. My husband has a glass shaving cup and I chose the stainless one and it, mine has a lid on it. I, I think I like his better because it has a handle. But anyway, he rarely uses it. I may swipe his. But you can see that that's a good, a good bit of lather and it is very thick and dense. And it just, oh, it smells so good. I just love this. And it feels so good. And it hangs nicely. And if I wanted a little more, I could always put this back in here. And do it again. But because this is such a new bar, I didn't want to soak it in the water. I just decided to get the brush good and wet. But see, it's running all down my hands. And what I just got off of this would be enough to do my two legs. and Well, maybe. Maybe not. That is just so, it, it feels like silk. Just amazing. I love playing with lather. But there you go, Hippie Shave Soap. Have a good night.